Probably wasn't the best thing to say, Gary. Probably wasn't the best thing to say. Hello guys and welcome to another video. He's made these comments about uh, Pep Clotet which has made the game a little bit more spicy, a little bit tastier um, and Blues' response which was ultimate towsery. Absolutely love it. Before we get into it, here's a quick shout out from our sponsors over at OneFootball. Just want to say a big shout out to our friends over at OneFootball. It's the ultimate platform for football fans across the world with everything you need from scores, fixtures, player stats, articles and social posts all in one place. If you want to check it out, you can download it using the first link in the description. So as you know, tomorrow Blues face Sheffield Wednesday at the Hillsborough Stadium and it's got a little bit of spice to it considering Gary Monk and Pep Clotet used to work together for so long. I think it was three seasons in total. Um, I thought, you know, they had quite a close bond. They were quite good mates, you would have thought. No hard feelings between them. Well, apparently not because Gary Monk has come out in his interview and publicly slated Pep Clotet for... I mean, it's it's probably not the most professional of things. That's my dog. E even if, like, you weren't the biggest fan of Pep, I don't know if it's the right thing to really say that in an interview. And, I mean, it seems that wherever wherever Gary Monk goes, that he burns his bridges or something goes on. Like, I can't speak for the past, but whenever I spoke to Middlesbrough fans about him, Leeds fans about him, they all really didn't like him. And I was like, I can't really see why. Now, I don't take personal offence to what he said, I just don't think it was very smart to do from a manager's point of view. Could be a mind games thing, probably not though. I think he's just, he probably shouldn't have said it really. So in his press conference, uh, reporters asked him about his relationship with Pep Clotet. Obviously because he's returning, it's quite an interesting talking point you could say. And Gary Monk decided to say this. I don't speak with him. What's most important to me is when I'm assembling the staff around me and to work with me, the key thing is to give them an opportunity and show them complete trust. And you hope they repay that trust. Sadly, not everyone has that character. Bold statement from Gary there. Some choose to pursue their own opportunities in the worst possible way. The most important bit for me is you live and you learn. Now, it's a bit vague, but I guess uh, Gary Monk was sacked and Pep Clotet stepped in and he's now the um, the caretaker head coach. Gary Monk made a comment about that as well. He said, uh, oh, he's the uh, interim caretaker head coach or whatever. I'm not really sure. Obviously, there's a little bit of a dig as well. Uh, but what what you think from this is, is he, is he trying to say something like, like Pep got it, put the wheels in motion for him to get sacked? Because if that is what he's saying, is it? I don't know. There's so many different things that aren't really talked about um, and that we don't know either side of because Gary Monk said he wouldn't really say anything about it. I'd love to hear the story from both sides but um, there was obviously from our side allegedly Gary Monk was, was doing dealings with James Featherstone and all everything had to come through him. So he went on to say unfortunately for me I didn't listen to a lot of people in the football circles who warned me about the character he is. That's an error of judgment from myself but it's a mistake I won't be making in the future. That's a really bold thing to say about Pep Clotet. Like, I know he's took your job and stuff, but Jesus Christ, he sounds like a jealous ex. Clotet came back, classy as ever, didn't want to comment on it, wanted to remain professional. He just sees it as a typical away game where he wants to get three points and he thinks we can. And now, I really do want us to win it. We don't win a lot of away games, but I'm praying we do because it'd just be nice to get one over on Gary. Now, I, I like Gary. I like. I don't know what to think of him, but the, I think these comments are a bit unprofessional. And personally, I think he's burned his bridges with a lot of the Blues fans that were left supporting him. I think it was split probably 50-50 in the middle of uh, because it, of the uncertainty certainty but after this I'm like you know what you can do one there was people on Twitter saying no manager is bigger than the club or whatever you're done now Gary Monk you're in the past for me you might I might have people disagree with me let me know your thoughts down in the comments if he's got a point maybe the thing is for us it's like we're in the dark a lot of the time about the information that's out there so we can only go off what we've been shown um, but for him to say that I think it was just not wise at all and even if he has got a point or whatever he's not done himself any favours has he really so if we take a look at the Twitter reaction, the Blues admin absolutely smashed it. They put a tweet out and it said, We tried to find comments from our interim caretaker head coach, speaking without class about tomorrow's game. We couldn't. In the meantime, it's always nice to hear something from the opposition manager. Gary, you want to come? Now, that makes it sound worse than it is. The saying is, you want come, because that's what our, if you didn't know, that's what our owner said to a fan. He said, meet me in the car park. But I like that we can have a little bit of a laugh at ourselves about that, like, 
Stuff like that happens. We can have a laugh about it. Like, it's it's just pure blues, that is. And I love it. Some people they don't like it. They want us to just stay corporate or whatever. But I like to have a little bit of a laugh. It's football at the end of the day. So looking at the Twitter reaction, Chris Scudder said, Knives out on Wednesday for Pep Clotted by the sounds of this. Gary Monk not holding back here. Sour grapes, nasty character assassination. Game on. And that's what that's getting me excited for the game, honestly. Oh, I've just seen the original tweet from Edward Cheng. You want to come? I will be there waiting for you. <laughs> oh, my days, mate. What a club this is. Uh, no, it's going to have a lot of spice to it, man. The game is going to have so much spice. I cannot wait. I'm praying that we can get like a late winner, or it could be like Blues at Stoke where we got the 1-0, nicked it. Would love something like that because we need some away day scenes, especially for all the fans travelling as well with... Uh, with it being on telly and everything. So, fingers crossed for that. What I want to know from you, like, is let me know what you thought of Gary Monk's comments down below. Has it changed your opinion of him at all? And also let me know your prediction for Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, and I'll see in the vlog who got it right. All right? But until then, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep right on.